Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. So, hey everyone, it's Marv, of course, welcome back to episode Try to Become Human. Hope you guys have a most absolutely amazing day. Please like, comment, subscribe, join today's video, and hit the notifications for this all really appreciate it today, guys. Of course, back onto it within the story of Detroit right here today. So, guys, can, of course, smash 10 likes trip, be very greatly appreciated, and hopefully can, of course, reach our goal. And uh, coming into Marcus's story right here, right about now. So, honestly, I can't wait for this, because we did have one hell of a message to be a very cause of humanity even the previous our broadcast episode. is all over the news. Very well delivered, too. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. We'll find out anyway. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! Nice stand up, Marcus. And now what are we gonna do? I'm sure Marcus has something in mind. Honestly, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for the uh, whole plan to be pulling off right here because, um, you know, what happened in the previous episode, I'm sure we'll be able to do, do just as successfully within there this mission right here today. There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. Gonna be building our future for sure. us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Gonna show that anyway. This is Let's a night our people will remember. Just us and North. All right. Go on ahead, North. Let's see how we do this. So we've got to be finding the Cyber Life store on first. And that's I've been be waiting a long time for this. First find the merchandise gonna be coming after. So we're definitely gonna make quite the team for today. Quite the duo, in fact. Something I always like to, um, you know, leaning on towards. This way, quick. Okay, try and get to cover. Stay behind them. The Choke police always going to be on to us. It was clear the start of this episode as well, Kara. It's okay, they're gone. I think we managed to get them off us anyway. There's probably even more police in the area. We That's what we got to be cautious of. Okay, I say uh, we head on from the store right now. You can already see where it is. Alright, so any key objectives we're making um, straight on the from The store's here? over here. Well, all we gotta do is follow north straight away, so I say we can do that. Man, this place looks amazing. Seriously, we've been there, Detroit Central. Oh, we even got some androids with us as well. It's even telling us to convert them, so we gotta leave them to our side and That's what we are to them. make them free. There's merchandise on display in a shop window. There's so many so of them. Know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll, we'll have an army behind us. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Especially what we have from Detroit so far. In Jericho. All right, so secure area and get into the store. Well, there are a few androids we're gonna here. We're going to sweep the so plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. I say join and us. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. You are okay, free. now what's next? Well, more to it. I'll see what there is anyway. I mean, these androids are Surveillance actually. drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Oh, it's got a route just like the machines from Horizon Zero Dawn. Drone patrol route calculated. 
Well, at least you know where it's going around. You might be able to follow it and then take it out. So what's our best route? Um, I'm guessing it's going to be the final one right here anyway. You know, from start to finish. So let's keep on uh, simulating on. Yep, too high, too far. Not variables we want to necessarily rely upon just now. But it's nice to be looking for our options anyway and seeing what's possible. That's too far too. And anything stopping us on the last route? Because I 100% doubt it. There you are, we'll be able to take it straight from there. Drone will be reached from here. Awesome. At least know what to go with. Um, you're an android on our side. Wait, it said something about check on here. I thought it meant the android for a second there. <laughs> so we can pre-construct on taking this one out. Um, let's see if we can do this. Alright. Um, D. No, we can't get that. It'll be too late. Right, so. I say we go back. Um, and I think it was right here, actually, where it was, so... No, actually. Um, we need to climb up a little bit, and then we should be able to take the drone from here. Go for it. Nice, so we can execute that, surely. Half unlocked. Go for it, Marcus. Time for a takedown. I'm alive for this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we need to mash it again. Gotta make sure you're out for good. Nice! Alright, we haven't finished scaling the area just yet. At least that's our main problem out of the way. Cups. We'll soon find out. Nice inside, North. Keep looking out anyway. Alright, any more of these androids around? Because we gotta make sure they're on our side. Join us. It's so cool you can do that, you're but awake now. at the same time it's a little weird. Go. It's great you can do that. Alright, any more around here? Uh, so I saw some androids like um, back here and some like right by the construction site. Uh, from what it seems right by the store. Alright, you're off duty, pal. Wait, hang on. <laughs> I say someone was real invested in their work. You are free. Hey yo. Okay, any more right around here? We've really got too many. And I think we can get both of them. Two birds, one stone. You are free. Very nice. Okay, so renovating the area onwards. Uh, quite a few things leading us on the construction site, so I say having a bit of a debrief on here. So we can get here anyway. Alright, let's go look inside. Exactly what we need to ram the door. Oh, that's our point of entry. Okay. We're really going in for a break in. Well, we're not exactly committing any violence. It's only going to be. Somewhat vandalism, but still, um, it's worth it what for the message for? of the androids. Nathan, we can do this. Mm, there's, yeah, there was two androids like right there as well. So I think I should have waited probably for a moment here because I don't know whether we can go back or not. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Okay, I'll try and do what I can. Get this whole program together. Very nice. I wonder what you'd do without me. <laughs> Very nice. He's got these pliers in order to break that lock. That's something I need to do anyway. Brilliant. Oh, nice! Okay, so we can actually do this a little more here. Yep, join us. I hope they can get released to both of you. You're free now. I'll influence your friend as well. You also need to analyze the store window and then we can get straight to truck duty. There you go. So, what am I doing here? I need to check out anyway. Oh, we're blocking the road! Perfect. That's going to be less hassle for us uh, when we're getting onto the, uh, the truck business and things. I'm going to be running there. straight through Nobody that place. Should bother us now. Yep, hopefully not. Thanks for androids. 
Okay, so uh, let's just check if there's anything on the side here. There's something in the center, so I don't know whether that's like an Android or whether that's supposed to be like the store itself. I doubt it anyway, but let me just look anyway from here. We'll get a few out, don't worry. You'll soon be with us. Hopefully, anyway. So I intend. <laughs> look at that guy looking at us. <laughs> so, we can look at all of them, can't we? Or is, um... Okay, that was just something optional, so you could have done it with any one of them. Alright. Um... Anyway, can reach the two of these guys. Oh, it's just inspecting something from the outside, okay. Let's see what we got. Store window. I'll, I'll just check the store window then, because I think it wants me to do that first. Prior to anything else, so let me just have a look. Man, the city looks so beautiful with the snow and everything. I love it. It's great. It's really well um, brought together as well. You see the alarm system? Actually, let me just check this out. There's a metal first. shutter behind the glass. It won't be easy to get in. Okay, try not to break the window. Well, we can use a truck for that anyway, we've already found that. And we've got the androids inside, so how's coping with private assistance? Um, not really too sure if there's anything else around here. But yeah, I think they're all... They all demonstrate for the same duty. That's an AP series. All we need to do is check the uh, security system. And then we can identify the note. Found network, it. And then um, relay that around. And with that lead, I think that all leads us to the drone. That we need to check out. So, nice. We need to just neutralize it. Oh. We right are there. superior to them, but they are our masters. Yeah, you gotta love that That's anyway. To change. That's the field of technology for you. <laughs> Okay, so there's something else to do over from there. So I wonder if I'm able to make the hack around to here, because I think that's what we're supposed to be doing. Here you go. That's the pipeline we need. Network access located. That's exactly what we need anyway. All right, make our way from the side. That's what I need to do is shuffle inwards. I'll jump in with you fellas. You know what to do. You can be our friend. <laughs> You're awake now. Go to Jericho. It's not easy that is to get followers. It'd be great that was real life as well. <laughs> Alright. Kneel forward. Alright, so I have a live netted. The grid function is a 23A. Right. Ho 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 ho. This is sick, seriously. I love this. Orange loops created. Right, we able to go all um, back over the truck? I'm pretty sure we can. Nice job, Marcus. Hopefully that's all anyway. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now yeah, it is anyway. Inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. We did that with enough minutes to spare. I say go straight for it. Hopefully no one's taken it anyway. <laughs> And again, I don't think they would be able to do the roadblock and everything, so that's just great. All right, come on. North, we're going north. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Looks like someone got a cold shotgun. I say we can get on with this. You gotta love the driving as well. So imagine if you're able to actually have, like, um, you know, driving controls within Detroit. That would be crazy. <laughs> Especially with this, but we're going for the pacifist approach. So, we're going to see how uh, far I can get from here. Oh, we're going to lie straight to the stroll window. I'm excited for this. It's like bullfighting. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. <laughs> Let's enjoy it. Floor it, Marcus. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Well... Looks like someone's going to need some serious insurance. I was not expecting that. <laughs> you know, to be in that much. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so wake these androids. 
You got a little something to say. You don't have to obey them. You're free. I'm sure we're gonna be uh, making our way over to uh, grip these androids in order to uh, huddle up together. This is the thing with androids. I think they're supposed to be like um, young adult, at uh, the young adult class, um, especially. I guess it's supposed to be like probably the best age group for the line of work. Is that what Troy thinks? I don't know, but that's always something I've always um, thought about, because, again, it just seems to be like um, young adults always for this uh, type of line of work anyway, you know, for like working with the humans. Uh, should probably um, try and influence these folks as well. It's your turn. You've all got time to shine. I love how you can do it from any android, and then it's going to follow the same way. I really like that approach as well. Okay, so um, we're all awoken. Well, hopefully. All right, let me just try and make our way from here. So, I need a good place. Excuse me, were you trying to walk into us? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, time to talk. Who wants a good word? I need to influence these people. My name is people. Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. Time for a change. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. <laughs> now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. It's brilliant and aspiring. Let's lead onwards. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll no. follow you, Marcus! <laughs> I'm with you! I'm with you! Look how well we're doing! North Star Companion. And we're the leader of Jericho. Then follow me! Yeah, what are you waiting for, folks? Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Ho 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 ho! Time to polish up this city! Time to paint the town android. He pacifist or violent, so we actually have like um, a different approach to things. Alright, check out this bench first. Do, Lead and they'll follow. Okay, I think I've got like an idea of what to do here. Alright, so we're able to spray the benches all the way across. Alright, so we can be on for that. Oh, they're all gonna do the same thing. Nice. It's great being a leader. The screens, Marcus! Oh yeah, these exactly. Let's see what I can do from here. Um, hijack or turn off? I'll go with this. I just want to go whatever, you know, seems more peaceful anyway. Because that's Marx's end goal. Long term. I'll do this with you guys. Um, we have a dream. We'll go with that. Have a nice slogan on. We can do this together. That's great. It's not like a regular video anyway. Okay, lower the violence within this place. I need to overload this. Let's see what we can do. Oh, what about the cars as well? What do you do with these? Move on the road, rock turn. Uh, I'll help you. Oh wait, is this what I want to do? Um. Okay, I'll do it. Just for now, anyway. So that was actually pacifist as well. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Great. Um, no, no, Marcus, don't do it. Oh God. Well, I guess it's been done. It sounds a little more violent. Um, right, we need to lower this now. Um, we 
do that much. Well, I didn't mean to break that. That was completely accidental. <laughs> well, why is there a smoke bomb? Well, let's go put it down anyway. Let's see what this does. Oh, Lord. So, really, I'll go and pass this from here. Okay, that's going on strongly. Um, anything we can do with these stores as well? I don't know if it's going to be like a main element in this. We've really made a change. This is just fascinating what we've all done together. We freed hundreds of our people. Something's accidental. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Oh, God. Here we are. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I say we're done well. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm happy anyway. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. You're done well together. I didn't mean to smash a few windows within, um, you know, some of those regards. That was a little accidental. Oh, the drones are on to us as well. Hey, come on, Marcus. I see we can make it out. North. Wait, the police here? Where's she gone? Approach the group. Okay. Something's happening from this corner. What's happening? Oh God! North. You all right? What happened? Well, if I got North, North they killed them. They just take a lot of androids. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who did? Who? Tell us. I think we're about to find now. All right, come on, Marcus. Let's see what's happening. I'm gonna see who this is. Or who these people are anyway. We've done this. Oh, I think it's just Detroit police. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Yeah, well I'm the leader. I'm the one to bring out any punishment here. Um no. Are you sure you want to solve punishment with punishment? Crime of crime is not exactly what I want to do. Spare him. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Thank God for that, honestly. It's so dangerous how close it is to actually make that choice in general. Ah. We've done really well. Especially. We may not this broadcast with breaking news. This bits, just but... in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different we're locations well. were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? We've done really well, seriously. Supportive public opinion. That's exactly what we want anyway. And we've definitely sent a message, just like the achievement does say. So Marcus led a peaceful protest. So, um, are there only three outcomes? Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, it was, was it like two or three? Because there seems to be like three upon here as well. So I don't know whether like Marcus is going to go on for something else, you know, at the end of the day. But we've done really well at the end of the day. So I'm very happy with that. Again, who knows where we could have gone peaceful and violent. Um, like that could have been um, an outcome as well, but here we are with Hank once again, and I think we're coming to meet the uh, creator of our androids right here for a little talking to. So, uh, let's be on with this. No heavy metal music today. <laughs> That's a little something new. Alright, Hank, nice to see you. I really love the uh, snow there thing within Detroit. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? When it brings up an atmosphere. 
Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Was that Marcus's group? He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Oh, okay. Is awesome. Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. He shot a load of androids. What the hell? The tomb done well, though, anyway. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Kamsky's the creator of the androids, of course. We're really going to need some answers from this guy as well. It's within the program where they can experience some of these behaviors. You know, demon behavior, anyway. Oh, she looks a lot like the hostess in this game. Hi. You know, on the uh, main menu? I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Thank you. I think he's got a favorite. Okay. <laughs> Well, lovely to be here anyway. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Nice greeting anyway. Alright, let's go check out this place anyway. Here's a Kamsky portrait. Go analyze this guy straight away. Lies a cyber life founder, the resign 2028 inventor of theory and biocomponents technology. So we need to know about him. Um, anything over here? Wait, is that Amanda? Amanda. Who we meet in the park? Amanda Stern's her name. She's he's a Manea professor at University of Coleridge. Born in 1978, died in um, 2027. Okay, that's interesting. Nice girl. So we, so she like um. You're right. Believed it, or I She's guess really we're finding pretty. out. Because that can often happen within context. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Yes, that's what we can find out anyway. You're about One to more meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Oh, I don't think we're able to answer that just yet. Actually, I guess we'll be able to answer in a bit. Um, I'd say that I'd stay cautious anyway, if that's one of the answers, or at least something close to it. Because, um, I don't exactly know what this guy's exactly like. Oh, here we go. I don't know. I'll tell you when Ooh. I see him. That looks cool. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. <laughs> yeah, probably the same of us anyway. Okay, so there doesn't really seem to be uh, much going on from here. I thought I might have been, um, you know, maybe saying something like, you know, when we're sitting down, but let's just see if we really um, checked everything out here. I guess we're finding out. Oh, we're ready. Glad you will see you now. Thank you. I'll wait after Hank. Okay, let's be ready. Information from Kamsky. Can we do so? Oh, he's got himself a swimming pool. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. Wait, are those androids the same model as well? Hey, that's Kamsky, isn't it? I'm sure it is. The man, he seems to be leading the pool. Wow, this place looks brilliant. Swimming in red water must be uh, quite the miracle, anyway. I say it's pretty cool. No lot to be um, looking into anyway. I'm sure it's coming out any moment now. That's him anyway. Hello there. He's got himself some briefs. <laughs> what a lovely robe he's got himself. Well, hopefully you're going to be a nice fellow. Well, I kind of expect. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. 
I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. So we can find out, maybe. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Oh, he's gonna be one Perfect of those guys. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. He's deflecting here. Isn't that ironic? Yep, yeah, could you not just answer the question? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The <laughs> machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. Exactly. What about you, Connor? Whose oh. side are you on? He's so interested by us. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. Exactly that. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. He'd say, but nothing more. What do you really want? Oh, he's really exploring the mind of us. I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. I am familiar with that, yes. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I think he's got a different example. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very oh, of course he does. <laughs> Names after himself. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Whoa, what's he up to here? Are you going to put in the position of where we have to shoot this thing? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Maybe I don't want to. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Yeah, it's only to play Okay, I think like we're this. done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here, important to you, Connor? <laughs> Your investigation or the life of this android? You're about to find out. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. It's really much more of this guy than me. That's the enough. Eye. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Goodbye. I'm not doing it. Fascinating. I want you to know that much. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. We're not a deviant, come on. I'm, I'm not a deviant. You're abiding the law of our program tells prefer us to, to spare do. a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. I didn't want to shoot it. You have been spared. <laughs> How can they still work no for you when you coming. treat them like that? You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? You are that creator. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. I mean, there was a lot of evil on you there, I'm not gonna lie. You know, from first seeing you at a glance. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Hmm. I love how Hank, by the way, said, sorry to get you out of your pool. 
That type of stuff I love of Why Hank anyway. You shoot? Your sense of humor. I just saw that girl's eyes and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something and you let it go. Yeah, I One know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay? We'll find the answer ourselves. We all need cans here. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Wow, thanks, Hank. I wasn't kind of expecting that. I was kind of expecting a bit of a, a different outcome there, but again, this guy's all surprises. I think we've done a really good thing anyway. So, 57% me Kamsky. I think we've done um, really well anyway. So, the android's name was Chloe that we sped, so I think that's supposed to be the uh, the name of the hostess uh, that we meet, because at least I think so anyway. Um... You know, from the name of the uh, character on the main menu, but I guess it's going to be something we're also finding out. I've also heard from a friend of mine that there's also um, quite the ending for the hostess as well on the main menu, so that's something I can't wait to explore into as well. And I guess we'll be seeing where it all goes from there. Um, anything happening here, Marcus? Oh my god, that is one beautiful view though, seriously. I haven't really seen anything quite like it though. This is amazing. That's just breathtaking to me. Detroit Android City. We also got to sell some reading material right here, so that was a really good find. Got to sell some more. Trying to find quite a load of these today, actually. Quite a lot of them for the episodes too. So we're doing really well with that. Here we go, something more from here. Something about the Android riots. That's a little something more for you guys to read. Pretty much right there. What's coming on to the first and then on to the very second page. Very nice. That's all for the Eastern Space Race. Alright, just drop that on down. It's kind of long us to walk straight to the edge. Let's do it. I really like our shoes as well. I think they look really fancy and quite modern. Let's sit at the end. We can have a thing to ourselves. It's a moment like these because we can uh, really sell the moments we passed. Hey then, North. How you doing? I was wondering where you were. I think she loves us. <laughs> really getting on with her, anyway. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. Oh, that's something we can relate to. It's like being alone with the world. I think you got a pass. We freed you, hundreds um, of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. You kind of want to escape from. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. That's why she's come to Jericho, I'm guessing. Something's changing. There's something about her. So more to North. You seem preoccupied. We so know. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. It does. And scary. Does that too. At the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The you humans to play are terrified. The They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Hmm. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, they'll never give it to us, but if they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. Doesn't mean we won't stop. What was your life like before Jericho? Oh, she kind of wants to know. That's all stuff for call, anyway. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? That's what I want to learn. I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. There is something. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I think about that now. Nothing. Hey, nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Wait, you work at the Eden Club? Just a toy designed for their pleasure. I think so. That's rough, though. Especially One coming from that. One day I was that. with a man who rented me.
And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Oh. It's like a lobby there, enjoys now you that. Know <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. No, sorry about that, Noah. I'm sure we can connect our past together and make a whole new path from it. That's quite touching. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I saw your memories. You know for sure. Carl's house. When now it's actually the lover. The studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. Hmm. I guess these two are in a relationship now. North. What a great first date. <laughs> well, that was really something from that chapter. And I guess coming back into our um, job at hand, we ought to inspire more people. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. I love our hoodie. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Let's do it, Josh. Please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. We shall do. This is the only way. Let's just storm and make a message. Rally our people. <laughs> there are androids here who could join us. We really sound like about a leader are, anyway. The stronger our message. Wait, it's an android right here. Hey, um, hey, buddy. Um, uh, excuse me? You okay there? There you are, now I'm able to convert you. You're free. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that guy's eyes are really staring into me. That's pretty crazy. Okay, go into the street. So, there's another android. Is this an android? Yep, definitely is. You're free. Okay, there's another one of them. We'll just keep going now. We love this place. We got some, some more androids into the ranks. We gotta bring them in one by one. Is there one? Come with us. Join us, and you will get what you want. Um, as long as it's not against the law, anyway. I mean, um, it, it's gotta be something that's kind of worth fighting for. You're awake now. Anything you want to? You can have it here. All right, so I think that this is everyone right through here anyway. So we're ready to, can we go outside? Oh, look, we can. Nice, we need to block the road onwards. And I think we also need to bring some uh, more androids with us. So let's see how we can do this. <laughs> this You're person's free. got a job to do as well. We're stopping him from doing it. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's like dropper shopping. Someone might steal it, but who cares? You Anything don't have here? to obey them. We can get two of them here. You're free. Free to do what you want. Marcus, we should find a way to block the road. Hey, we will. I wasn't trying to run into the traffic. Okay, so now we've got our team somewhere like coming into the center. Run uh, this up right here. You're free now. Well, that's like Todd and Zlatko. Hey, right in front of him. Where do you think you're going? Hey, off him. You He's not your slave anymore. Sure, Bye. <laughs> Y'all love you're doing free. that. I knew one of them would be saying something, but <laughs> didn't expect it from that guy. I need to block the street. Do you help us with that? Yeah, I'd appreciate it. Oh, I think these androids are all going to help us. That's right. Do your job, my friends. I can't want to see what's happening here. <laughs> Man, the city looks amazing. Seriously, look at this place. So I think from the manhole cover, <laughs> we're able to bring in um, everyone else. Hopefully enough people anyway. 
Let's go bring in those who will join us. Let your word be said. The controls really become a lot easier when you start getting used to them. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like I'm doing a lot better with them now than how I did in the first episode and, you know, from there. Alright, so we need to convert more androids. So, do that. That one looks like Kara. I'm guessing that's how we're going to do it anyway. You Join us! I love this. We're really rallying in an army. Oh, I sense it's going to be a great moment. Okay, let's bring him in. This is just brilliant. Okay, so what are you doing and join us? How are we able to bring them in together? Our numbers are going up. Jones ahead of us. One android's coming in. Let's not stop walking. This is really, really amazing. I love this. How easy is it to call these people in? Our message is really motivating. We have to do something to the screen. Oh, we have to hack it with our um, symbol right there. That's the one we chosen. I like it because I think it really, um, you know, shows we um, stand as one. That's something I like anyway. Okay, come on. Don't give up on coming with me. I need some more of you. Bring them in. Going to 180. We're almost to 200 now. But seriously, we're boosting a message. One that's so great, we can all come. Let's just watch it. He's behind us. Oh my god. Look at that. Hey. Look at that all together. Disperse immediately! That's an order! Yeah, you're one man. I'm gonna raise my hands. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Here you go, Marcus. Don't let him stop you. Jesus fucking Christ! Come on. This bet's Are you trying anything? Seven. I got a lot of androids down here. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, oh, <hundreds. laughs> All right, Alpha. other androids coming in. Set us free! Set us free! Set us free! We are alive! We are We are people! We are people! Set us free! choices together. So many right there. I think the police think they can stop us. They really hate androids, seriously. I don't like it when they rise against the humans. Come on, we can do this. I'm gonna stand proud and stand strong. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. Let's display just that. All we want is to live free. In our demands. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. Don't bother I either. repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Whatever you say. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Great idea, Josh. Again, North and Josh this always tend to debate each other chance. on these matters. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! 
We have to show them we won't back down. We stay okay. right here. That's so brave. Oh. Disperse. This is your last Anyone chance. Kidding. We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. I'm gonna do it. We're not moving. Let's see what happens. Oh, I've seen so many. Of them. Then again, they're the murderers. Marcus, in this case. what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Come on, Marcus. We'll put our lives on the line. So I will stand for my army. As I gonna stand behind them. Whoa! I know it's a sacrifice, but oh man. Please tell me Marcus isn't dead after all this. That wouldn't be great. John? Not at all. John he was with us. And they're all defending us. This is exactly what we we're meant to do. Exactly Quick. how we stand. They're coming. The violence won't solve anything here. Again, I don't know whether non-violence might have anyway, but that is pretty much a great way to be ending off the video right there, folks. To uh, essentially be seeing that on Freedom March. So, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, hope you guys most certainly have enjoyed today's episode of Detroit Become Human. I most certainly have as well. Please like, comment, side, of course, if you enjoyed today's video, and hit the indications for it's always greatly appreciated. And John did give his life to save Marcus, so that's pretty much it at the end of the day as we uh, made our sacrifice. So, as always, hit the indications for it's always greatly appreciated. And of course, I'll see you on the next one with some more Detroit. Au revoir, folks.